Because, I mean, I know everyone that worked on the film, I mean, especially, uh, you know, the, the director and the producer and Johnny Depp and everything, were huge Lone Ranger fans from yeah. when they were kids. So they were, I mean, this was a labor of love for them. But what I didn't know about Johnny Depp is he doesn't go anywhere without his pirate mm. costume. Yeah, because when he has, like, four or five hours of downtime, he goes to children's hospitals and dresses up as Captain Jack Sparrow for the kids. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah. And so he says, you know, he's. All, and he, I read an article. He's like, you know, yeah, I've gotten to the point where I don't travel without the Captain Jack Sparrow costume because you never know you're going to have a couple hours. And you go to children's hospital, or go here, or go there, and do something for the kitties. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm like, it's like, and I'm like, that's like the spirit of Clayton Moore. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was just, I was so, I was like, that is really cool because it's like William Boyd never went anywhere without being hot long Cassidy. Exactly. You know, and you're like. I respect that because a lot of actors know, don't do that. A lot of actors, yeah, a lot yeah. of actors, you know, you meet them and you're sorry you met them because they're nothing like the character you uh, you've idealized. Absolutely. You know, and when they can Marvel. actually do that for you, especially when it's a, a a character that's a real symbol or that has meant something or is you know has been idealized by children everywhere. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's just it shows it shows a respect by the actor for what it is that they actually do right. and what they contribute to society. Absolutely. Did you sit around for whole credits every seven times? times? Yes, I did. I stuck through the credits every seven times and watched that man vanish into the wilderness. <laughs> and the vanishing American right there. But um, I did. All seven times, we stayed till the end credits. I can't, I can't, I'm a masochist. We have about 10 minutes. All right, anyone else have something they want to jump in with? Actually, I do have something to say. I'm a little, I'm a little cold now, but that's not related. Uh, so <laughs> it, it, might, it might affect uh, how I speak. Uh, with you, you talked about values uh, being established within the, the Lone Ranger. I think there's a great line within uh, one of the early episodes where there's uh, Silver and, and uh, Scout, you know, forming a friendship, and and uh, uh, Tonto relates that to the Lone Ranger. He says of the Lone Ranger. Uh, uh, says in response, they'll sit, they'll, uh, they'll ride side by side, and he's not obviously talking about just the horses, he's right. talking about mm -hmm. them. Uh, lately, there has been a, there's been a lack of shows like that, like The Incredible Hulk, or like Kung Fu, where they have you know, these uh, values that they're trying to establish into, into the audience. Do you, uh, is there something like that, you know, something comparable? Uh, to those shows today? That's a good question. The... Okay, this is not... Okay, this is going to be a really weird answer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the first thing that, that pops... There's one, one show that instantly popped to my mind because... Um, and, and it's for a really weird reason. But it's uh, Supernatural. Because Supernatural teaches us that you forgive family anything. You know, that family is family no matter what they do to you, you know, and because, you know, Dean and Sam, by all rights, should have killed each other you know, seven <laughs> seasons ago, yeah. or at least gone their own separate ways. And probably the reason that pops in my mind is because that, but it, that they drive home over and over again this idea that you do anything for your brother, you know, and that you take care of each other, you look out for each other, you know, you hold each other accountable to be your best, you know, and everything. And, um... See, my husband kept saying that you know the modern the modern Lone Ranger, especially with the the slight supernatural element, is it there? Is it not? They've introduced. He said this would make a fantastic weekly television show because he saw and it would be like it would be like supernatural in the old west, you know, where they go around because you know there's more than just when to go and what kind of you know outlaws they're going to find, what kind of monsters might they find. But you could actually have a fantastic show doing this. So supernatural is already kind of stuck in my head. But there, there's not. I'm I'm really struggling to think of something that yeah. that does you know because it's 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 not it's popular not to popular. do that now and I think that that's kind of you know and and, I, and it's really a testament to what our television is today you know where they'd rather get you know the CGI special effects action and keep everything moving uh, rather or, than try to teach or maybe anything a soap or, opera. or well, I, I mean look at the shows the teens are looking at today they've got. Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, yeah. That that's, that's gonna instill, that's, you know, good. Yeah. yeah. Teaching that, that, you how to be a better person or yeah, yeah. not. Yeah. Vice versa. Like, 
and honey boo boo. Yes, because that, no. Well, this may not be the same, but my favorite show is Psych, and it's all about two best friends that have grown up, and they'll do anything for each other. And they speak about that, how, like, if the other person was not. Yeah, it's a silly show, but. No, I feel so sorry for Gus because I think. I think he puts up with so much crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have, even though um, it got canceled, I, one show that comes to mind that, that had some values was Chuck. Yeah. Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Chuck. 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 Oh. Yeah, because <laughs> she, Chuck actually was the very Lone Ranger. Chuck wouldn't kill anybody. Yeah. yeah exactly. You know, and he, he was a very good man drawn into being a spy, yeah. you know, not go you know, through circumstances beyond him. And he would do anything to protect his family and, he would do, yeah, and his, friends. his friends. family and his friends, but he yeah. wouldn't kill people, and he would always, like say, like the Lone Ranger, he'd always find the way out. Chuck would always find the way out. He'd always find the way to not do it, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, so, yeah, that's, that, that was, that, yeah, I would say so. But, but yeah, it, it's not the kind of popular TV show, and you know who knows maybe that. Was Morgan Tonto? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I, the bird on his head. <laughs> I, I have a visual. He guy. would be, I think. He would be Tonto. <laughs> yeah, Morgan is totally Tonto. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. But yeah, and <laughs> now we got that idea stuck in our head. <laughs> Thank you Thank for you. that imagery, Thank man. You. I didn't mean that. Now that, that's a good question, and, and like I say, and it was weird because people misread the movie a lot, and I mean, I, like, one guy got, I mean, I, I read a review by one person that got all, you know, upset and wound tight because um, they thought that it was, you know, Hollywood anti-gun, you know, crap and all of this kind of stuff, and that's what the movie was about, and I'm like... Made it political. Yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah. no. You're reading too. You're it, it, it's, it's what the Lone Ranger I, it's is. About the Lone, yeah. It's about this guy who, you know, this is the way he wants to live his life, and, obvi and ultimately it doesn't work out for him because, you know, he has to end up taking up, you know, arms, and he's still, but he still man maintains his integrity, even though he's still, you know, shooting, and now he's shooting guns out of people's hands. But it, I was so incensed because this guy's like, yeah, I left 30 minutes into it, and I'm like, and I'm like, and 30 minutes into it, you had already seen the scene where he's firing guns, you know, in the beginning, <laughs> flashbacks. I don't know what movie you were watching, because, yeah. you know. But I mean, people were just kind of, like, misinterpreting all over, and they were finding weird things to get upset about, yeah. you know. And it was just it was just an odd phenomenon. It's like the movie everyone wanted to pile onto and hate just because they could. Yeah. And we just asked you guys, just give it a chance. Yeah, those of you who haven't seen it, just, just, yeah, just go in and just sit down and say, let's just have a nice time and just... Because I'll, I'll be quite honest, I, I got to see it with her, so that, that in, in itself was an experience. But um, I, I was a little hyper. Yeah, a little, oh, a little. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I, I was bouncing off. But I, I have to admit, coming into it, I didn't expect much from it because I thought it was just going to be Pirates of the Caribbean in the Old West, and it wasn't like that at all. I mean, I, I thought it was very. Uh, true to the original series. I mean, it's like I said, like we said, it did take a little bit of liberties here and there, um, but they made it a more modern version yeah, of without, the Lone Ranger made, without changing the yeah, essence of they it. They made it, they modernized it without making it about our modern world and ideals right. and PCism and all that other crap. You yeah, know? it they didn't like you know make take a 21st century guy and stick him in the old west. Exactly. He's they still feel like authentic characters to the time period. But they're more relatable to people who are watching it modern. Yeah. I think. It, it, that's a very hard line to walk. So yeah. I, I, I'm amazed that they managed to do it so well. I mean, it, it, it's rare for me to go watch a movie and honestly say that there was nothing about that movie that I did not like. Yeah. I loved absolutely every scene, every character. The character development was fantastic. I loved it all. Yeah. It was yeah. beautiful, and Tonto's, you know, backstory, I mean, it's, it's yeah. heartrending. I mean, it is. Tonto's village has always been slaughtered, but actually, the way they've done it in the film, you just like... You feel it. You feel it. Yeah. You feel it, you feel his pain, you understand Tonto, and you're like, oh... And Johnny just did it. Right? Yeah, and, and like yeah. I said, he, and he brought... Johnny Depp is one of a very small handful of actors who, when they choose to do it, can... He, can portray so much emotion with the smallest facial <coughs> gesture, a tiny quirk of the lips, 
just a kind of you know change in their eyes even and you sit there and you get the weight of it mm -hmm. without it and you're like and it's such subtlety sometimes that you're like only someone who's a master of their craft could actually portray yep. that like that well as much as people hated it he did the same thing in dark shadows uh, i and didn't see that I toward, toward, <laughs> toward, toward, towards the end there was one scene where he wasn't playing it the way he played the rest of the movie mm -hmm. and i was sitting there watching it going why wasn't he like this the rest the of the time? I, and it was when he confronted Angelique. Wasn't that, yeah. In, in her office. I'm like, that's the way the character should have been played the entire yeah, movie. Yeah, I refuse to watch that movie. I, I can't see it. I like the movie. I think it could have been so much... It, I'm torn. I love Johnny Depp, but Michelle Pfeiffer is my favorite actress of all time. And I'm just like... This movie could have been like one of the best movies ever, and instead it's one of the weirdest movies ever. Yeah. But you know, it's but still... if you take that one little scene and just say, okay, that's the way the rest of it should have been played. And I've actually gone back and I've watched it a second time, and I've tried to take out the inflections of their voice and listen to the words. And there's a really good script there. Mm -hmm. If they had played it straight, yeah. it didn't have to be comedy. Not the campiness. Yeah. yeah. So it, the... they, it would have played as a, as a good movie if it had all been played yeah. the way that it's two minutes was Sometimes, seen was. Yeah, as, as a writer, it, it's fascinating because I've, I've actually... Several of my properties have revolved, been revolving around Hollywood for a couple of years now. We've gotten, you know, movie deals, and then they're on and they're off. They're on and they're off. And television, they bought, and you know, nothing has actually finally made it to film. But I have had the opportunity to see a great many scripts. <laughs> <laughs> and what they do. <laughs> Adaptations of my work, and I'm like. I don't know what book you read, but <laughs> that's not my my story. <laughs> but. If it makes me money, fine. You know, <laughs> it's just, but as long yeah. As the it, check clears. Yeah. As, as long as the check clears, all right, fine. Yeah, but it is. It's it's interesting because, but it also I've seen people like you know do live readings of my work sometimes. You know, just you know for different like charity events or whatever, and it's like that is not even the way it's written. That is not even the tone it's written in. You took it and you made an entirely different thing, and that's bizarre. That's you know, true. but so, I mean, it's funny because. You can have the most brilliant scriptwriter in the world, and if the director doesn't agree with your vision, you're going to end up with something really bizarre because, like you say, the words will be one thing, and the tone and the delivery and the filming will be another thing, and you end up with a confusion because you're like, something's not matching up here. Yeah. You know. So yeah. Well, it, look it at Twenty One Jump Street. Yes. <laughs> that was not a comedy. <laughs> see, I did not see that. <laughs> but we didn't either. We didn't want to. Yeah. But. But yeah, so but they do. He does a really good job with the the modern film. It it help. It, I I say people need to give it more of a shot. And yep. everybody that I have sent to see it has I loved like it. it. Yeah. You know? So and the one person that saw it without talking to me first hated it, and obviously it's because he didn't talk to me. <laughs> you know. And I think we're done. I think we're done. Yep. Yep. We are. Well, thank time. you guys. And seriously, have some more of Ranger badges. And, and guys, please remember, uh, please rate us. Yes. If you hate us, don't. We were the uh, toy panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you hated us, we were the brick track panel. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not the American. We've got three buttons, so. Buttons. That, that buttons. 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 Buttons.